and LA, pagdiwang po natin ang ikadalawampung uh, taong anibersaryo ng Kayamanan ng Lahi. It's an organization, a group that keeps Filipino tradition alive in the U.S. and Southern California through music and dance. Kilalanin po natin sila mamaya and they're going to be performing for us as well. It's very beautiful. It's a beautiful dance and Filipino music. You wouldn't want to miss that. Also today on the show, alamin po natin yung magbubukas uh, or magbipremiere na pelikula this weekend. It's called Mosquito Filipino and that is about a Filipino story and we're going to be uh, talking to the filmmaker today on the show as well and speaking of films Harry Potter pinakaabang ang pagbubukas sa buong mundo pag po natin yan sa Nepalis Reports <laughs> Hi, Miss Janet. How are you, Hollywood reporter? Miss J, you know what? Hollywood is a buzz because of the news of Eva Longoria and Tony Parker divorce. It's a sad story, Miss J, but everyone's talking about it. And I know I would like to get your insights. Uh, everybody's sad because they've been together for seven years and three years nga married sila. So everybody was shocked also na Eva Longoria filed for the divorce. Kasi may mga rumors na rin na si Tony was already filing for divorce in Texas, but... Uh, that was not, that did not happen, and then a surprise na lang si Tony na uh, Eva filed for the divorce. <laughs> okay, and now people are saying Tony Scamp. Uh, they're saying that it's all about PR for Eva. It's all about you know publicity for her. But I'm sure she must be devastated also. Uh, yeah, I think she's also she devastated. Mm -hmm. She canceled her appearance at the American Music Awards. Miss J, you are an insider. You know, you talk to these people, you get to interview them, and you see Hollywood life. Why do you think? Uh, uh, why do you think uh, relationships is difficult for relationships or marriages to last in Hollywood? Uh, it's really hard in the long celebrities because they're always apart from each other most of the time. So they grow apart. And when we interview most of these celebrities, they always say that that they're grown apart. Part. And marami ring temptation because it's a show business. Eh? Right. And you know what? But there are couples that uh, make it work. Oh, they're not married, but still now, uh, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, they're still together. Yeah, ang secret, I think, with Angelina and Brad, uh, they, it's a give and take relationship. When one is working, the other one is not working and uh, just taking care of the family. Same with Will and Jada Pinkett. They make time for each other. So they. they plan not to be apart from each other for for more than two weeks. Okay. They say also, Miss J, indication nga ba pag sometimes a, a, a person goes to red carpet or mga premieres, red carpet events or premieres alone, is that an indication that the couple is nearing Splitsville? Ah, hindi naman siguro. <laughs> Minsan may mga conflict lang sa mga schedule. All right. Uh, but that's not a gauge. And so that wasn't the case with you. You attended the Harry Potter premiere alone, pero in London. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Was it, how was uh, I really had fun going to London in the Harry Potter, attending the Harry Potter premiere. There were like 7,000 fans. Even it was raining and cold, all the fans camped out like 30 hours just to catch a glimpse of their favorite uh, stars, Daniel Radcliffe. Emma Watson and Rupert uh, Green. Mm -hmm. So, and other stars came also, like si J.K. Rowling nandoon, at sila Helena Bonham Carter, Tom Felton, Imelda Staunton, and even Lisa Marie Presley, who's a non-Harry Potter fan. Was there, wow. Okay, Emma Watson, what is this I'm hearing, that she stole uh, the scene on the red carpet? Oh my God, if you were there, you would really be proud of her. She's very ladylike now, she's all grown up, she's wearing this lazy black dress by Rafael Lopez. And very mature na siya, and uh, you can see that she's already poised and grown up. Right, and she attends uh, Brown University. How is her life there? Uh, enjoy just a Brown University because she feels so protected by the university. The students are like protecting her from the paparazzi, and she's living a normal life. Unlike before, kasi may mga tao nagsasabi sa kanya na they tell you when to eat, when to go to the bathroom, but now she's very free to do her stuff, to cut her hair, and wear the clothes that she likes to do. <laughs> I'm sure she's enjoying enjoying that. What about Daniel Radcliffe? What are his thoughts now that uh, Harry Potter is ending? Uh, miss daw niya si Emma and Rupert and also the staff of the uh, the Harry Potter. In fact, they did a mon Uh huh. Um, let's talk about um, Daniel Radcliffe. Also, what's uh, what's he busy with now? Uh, Daniel is doing The Woman in Black, uh, mm -hmm. which is a supernatural film. And also, uh, he's also doing The How to Succeed in Business, which is a musical. His first
time to stage uh, to be in a stage musical. So there of is thing. life after Harry Potter for uh, these kids. Not yes. not kids anymore, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but, they're in their 20s. Uh huh. But for now, uh, Miss uh, Miss J, I'm sure that they're all celebrating. It has broken all uh, IMAX records on Harry Potter na ito. And it's just the uh, first part of the last uh, installment, right? Yes. Mm -mm. The second part will be in July. Ayan. So do you hear of any, like, maybe parties, celebration parties? Uh, yeah, meron silang actually nung last day nila, they had a big party and Rupert Grint even brought in his uh, ice cream truck and distributed ice cream with Emma to the staff. Ayan. And they even showed them a montage of or yung decades long performances nila. So it was a very touching day for that all must, of them. Yeah, indeed, that must have been very touching. And that's why we like you, uh, Janet and Ruben Nepales, for always bringing us all these Hollywood chismes, mga inside uh, reports from Hollywood. Thank you so much and more power to you. Abangan namin yung column mo sa Manila Bulletin. Oh, thank you, Janelle. All right. That was uh, Janet Nepales. If you want more, log on to uh, mb, www.mb.com.ph and try to read uh, her column. It, it comes out regularly on Manila Bulletin. At dito naman sa Kababayan LA, Nepales reports every Thursday. We will be back for more. Don't go away.